Now we finished our workout, we killed it in the gym, we did our part. Now we want to make sure that we prep our body for the next workout. We make our prep our body for the next day, right? So now is where we want to start to implement those static stretches, which are those stretches which you hold for 10, 20, 30 seconds, right? Now I don't like to overcomplicate this. A lot of people do, but you really just want to kind of go by feel, right? Your body will tell you. And what I like to do is I just like to hold each stretch for 10, 15 seconds. Then if anything feels tight, I'll do it again. And if it still feels tight, I'll do it a third time, right? So real easy, real simple. I'll teach you guys my stretch routine. We'll go left arm across, 10 counts. Go straight into the right arm across, 10 counts. Now we're gonna go left arm over, really get that lat stretch. What I like to do is I like to lean to the side a little bit. Good. Nice, same thing for the other side. Nice. Cool. So now I wanna start implementing lower body stretches. Now the biggest one that everyone thinks about when they wanna stretch their lower body is stretching those hamstrings, right? So everyone automatically assumes, okay, let me go try and touch my toes, right? But what's the problem with this? My back is rounded, my thoracic spine's curving, it looks very sloppy, right? Doesn't matter if you can touch your toes or not, because let's be honest, you wanna keep your lower back, you wanna keep your back as stable as possible, so it doesn't matter if you can touch your toes or not if your back is rounding, right? So you wanna come nice and really practice keeping that back straight, touch your toes, Come hold that for 10, 15, 20 seconds, and then repeat. Now we wanna stretch our quads. So when we stretch our quads, I like to have a foam roller here. Helps to balance one less thing to think about. So what I'll do is, biggest cue for this one is you wanna keep both knees together and then squeeze the glute of the quad you're stretching. Really bring it forward, really feel that stretch. And then repeat for the other side. Nice. Once we get down in this position, I like to go on the floor at this point and really try and knock out the rest of these stretches. So I'll come and grab that band that we first used when we started to warm up the upper body. And when I lay back, you could use a stretching band. I use a resistance band just because I'm not at my house right now. So what I like to do is our back is straight since we are laying back on the ground. And what I like to do is just stretch really Feel that nice stretch, hold it for 10. Pull towards your face, really feel it in the back of the knee. Really feel it in the hamstring. Good. Three, two, and switch. You really wanna make sure that the opposite leg is still on the ground. And hold it, make sure you stretch, stretch, stretch. And nice. Okay, once here, we're already on the ground. So what I like to do is I wanna get a nice IT band stretch. So what I'll do is you wanna really bring your heel as close to your glute as possible, lean back. So now naturally the knee is gonna come up. So what you're gonna do is while keeping that heel nice and close to the glute, you wanna press down. You should really feel it all along the IT band, all over the quad. And switch, same thing, heel. To the glute. All right. The next stretch is actually one of my favorite stretches. It's a glute and a hip stretch. Majority of people actually have very, very tight hips, as do myself, and they just don't know it. So this stretch is really, really good. It's really helped me kind of get deep into that squat really kind of feel healthy, feel okay moving again. It's called the pigeon stretch. So it's a little bit technical, but what we wanna do is you wanna bring one knee forward and once in this position, try and keep that foot, that leg straight as possible. What we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly inch our knee back more and more and more till we feel a nice stretch all along our side. Once we're here, we wanna drop down. Really feel it all over. Now I'd like to finish off with just one last hip stretch, really kind of get myself ready for I'm really actually ready to leave the gym. So what I'll do is get into a nice lunge position, bring that foot forward, 
Now the knee that's on the ground, you wanna keep that glute, really squeeze that glute, push that hip forward, and just lean into it, right? You should feel a stretch kind of come up along, along the quad into the hip, and then even a stretch in the calf if you're tight over here. You wanna just hold it there 10 seconds. And switch. And there you go, there you have it. Once you finish those, like I said, I like to try and go, whatever feels tight, I'll come back to it after I've finished an entire round. And sometimes I'll do two, three, maybe even four rounds if I'm feeling really tight. But I'll really just emphasize the muscles that feel especially tight. The most important thing about working out is you have to get to know your body, right? See how things make you feel. See how things affect you, right? See how you feel the next morning after doing a specific exercise, a specific stretch, a certain way that you've tried to sleep, anything. But everybody's body is different. It's just a matter of how well we know ourselves. So thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully you liked it. Please let me know what stretches you guys do after your workouts. Very curious to find out. And if there's anything else you guys wanna see. I don't care. Please shoot me a message, shoot me a comment. Really do appreciate support from you guys. Until next time, Project Pharaoh.